Hey, John from B2Web. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change your uh, SEO data, your meta titles and meta descriptions and keywords, uh, and basically store it if you're switching themes, and then you can re-upload it all in one go for all your posts and pages without having to uh, basically switch themes and then go back and input all of your SEO data in each individual post, which I did about two years ago. Very time consuming. So now obviously if you're using an SEO plugin, it's not really an issue like all-in-one SEO or Yoast SEO because if you switch themes, that data is going to remain. And that, that's a big advantage of using an SEO plugin. But what if you're using something like Genesis Theme Framework or uh, iThemes Framework or some framework that has built-in SEO, and a lot of them do, and then you decide to switch themes to a totally different framework and what are you going to do with all that SEO data if it doesn't transfer uh, smoothly and it doesn't because I've done it. Well the solution is he's using a free plugin called SEO Data Transporter. Alright so what you want to do is you want to go to your plugins and, and you just install it. It looks just like this. SEO Data Transporter. Okay, it's created by Studio Press, so they're a very reputable um, WordPress theme and plugin developer uh, company, so it works really well. I've used it many, several times. So you want to install and activate that. Now, it all depends, you know, your next step is going to depend on which direction you're going. So right now I have the Genesis framework on here, and if you go to my SEO settings, you'll see I've got the whole SEO settings for this for the site all set up and I have it also set up for my individual posts I should say my pages so we've got this is a local website that I own it's a real estate website and so I have my SEO here so it's a theme SEO settings okay so now let's say I want to switch to a totally different theme and uh, I'm gonna do that uh, but I don't want to lose all of this SEO data that I've you know, spent time putting in. So what we do is we want to, in this case we're going from theme SEO to a plugin. So I would switch it just to a plugin and we want to transfer that. Now you don't have to switch themes in order to use this. Let's say you want to just switch from your theme based SEO into just using a plugin. You can certainly use this uh, SEO data transporter for that as well. So um, we want to choose our SEO plugin. Now it's all in one SEO. Now it's not activated right now because that overrides the Genesis. So I have that in there. What we do is we go to tools, SEO data transport. Now this is as simple as it is. It's really simple. These are the themes that are represented. So a lot of the biggies, Builder, Catalyst, Frugal, Genesis, Headway, Hybrid. So you could switch from one of these theme frameworks to another one, or from one of these theme frameworks to a plugin, or from a plugin to a different plugin, or from plugin to a different theme. So that just makes it very easy for you. So what we're doing is we're going from Genesis to All-in-One, and we analyze. You don't have to analyze, I do. We've got 10 records. This is a small site. I just have 10 pages on there. And so they're identified. And then we convert. 10 records were updated. Now I want to activate that all-in-one SEO. Because obviously if we're switching, that's the one we're going to be using. So now we go to our all-in-one SEO, which is right up here now. We change that. Now that didn't transfer my home page settings. But let's see if it transferred my I'm doing this on the fly here. Looks like it worked for our individual pages and posts. Yes it did. Okay, so now we're using the all in one SEO pack on our pages and the title's been transferred and the description. So um, one glitch, which these things happen, um, is that for the home page it didn't work. And it's possible that it didn't work because I didn't have it activated, but um, that's the way I, I did it. Now, that's not really a big deal. What you can do is just uh, copy and save your home page or your site-wide SEO stuff and just plug it into our SEO uh, all-in-one general settings here and then would be good to go. So I'm not going to change the theme to do that. Basically the point is to show you that it can the SEO data can be transferred from a theme framework into a plugin or, or 
you know, basically it functions the same way. So now we can uh, switch this back because I want to stick with the Genesis SEO option. And we'll convert. Ten records were updated. See, so you see Genesis, you normally have an SEO settings here, but because all-in-one is activated, it's not going to show up. So I'm going to have to deactivate my all-in-one SEO. And let's check our SEO settings. There it is. And it's there. So it didn't work perfectly, but it worked well. The, the big job if you do that, if you switch themes and you got to migrate all that SEO is that you're going to have to go through each individual page and post and it's very time consuming just to just to do the the main uh, home page is, is not really a big deal. I've done it and, and it has worked for the home page. I've used this um, data transporter oh, probably at least 10, 15 times. Um, I can't recall whether it always works seamlessly, but this thing alone, uh, there, as far as I know, there's no other plugin that really does this as well. Now, again, the way to avoid having to do this is no matter which theme you use, just use an SEO plugin, which works really well. Um, and that way you don't ever really have to worry about it because if you switch themes, all your SEO data is with the plugin and not with the theme. So that's that's a very easy preventative solution to that. I tend to use the um, Genesis and StudioPress built-in SEO just because I'm familiar with it. I like the options it provides. So it's just a personal preference. It's not that it's really any better. It just uh, It's just a personal preference. So um, this little tool can save you a ton of time if you need it. And it also, again, works. If you want to switch from, say, all-in-one SEO to Yoast, you can use it for that as well.